Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at our very first, the all new 2019 Chevrolet Blazer. And this happens to be an RS package. Now, wouldn't it be the way of things when you wanna do a video of a, of a vehicle and you go look for the keys, you can't find the keys, you just had it washed and it's a technician. A technician has grabbed this thing and taken it on, out on the road to make sure that it's uh, what we call it in the car world is a PDI, pre-delivery inspection. And that means that it was all put together at the factory. Technician looks at it, makes sure that all the fluids are right and a bunch of other things. So a very long checklist to make sure that the vehicle is the way it's supposed to be as it arrives brand new at a new dealership. So here we are, she's a little bit dirty, but I think that's the way this vehicle is gonna like it to be. This is a Blazer RS all-wheel drive, 3.6 liter V6 with a nine-speed automatic, and it is the new SIDI, Spark Injection, Direct Injection Engine. And to take a little second to talk about that to make things uh, make sense, you're gonna see almost every four-cylinder, four-cylinder turbo, uh, V6, V6 turbo vehicles going to this SIDI, and it's because you can get more jam with uh, less fuel use. So spark injection, um, direct injection. So there you go. That's a great looking, sharp looking vehicle. Now you can see we've got some of this, what they call black ice, and then your flat black paint along with the red. And that's all RS exclusive stuff with the black badge as well. If you are looking at say a premier model or the normal uh, Blazer 3.6 liter V6, you'd be looking at all of those areas, including the front grille would all be chrome. These bezels down here would all be chrome instead of black. And you would have an alloy wheel as opposed to this gorgeous 21 inch painted black wheel because it's again, the RS package. So let's very quickly, let's go to the back end here. Man, this thing looks sharp. I don't wanna to take too long today. Don't wanna to stumble over my words too much, but here we go. So the Blazer is a five passenger SUV. That's the way it's been set up. You can see you've got piles and piles of room back here. You can lift this up. What do you know? You got a full size uh, spare here that would, uh, you don't have to drive 60K on. And you've got this cargo management system here. You can see these rails, pretty awesome. You can see you've got the new block heater style as well, cord, so that this would go and plug in right to the front bumper. So no, no cord hanging out over the hood, scratching up your paint. You can see your seats here. You've got a handle on this side, pull on this, folds that down and you can see it's a perfectly flat folding floor. Love that. Great for puppies. And you know what, it might sound silly. We've got GMC Acadia customers and they'll go camping. And I mean, you can see there's a lot of room in this. You could definitely camp in this with, you know, um, the misses or whatnot. Maybe you and your big Labrador retriever very comfortable and again we've got all kinds of technology in this vehicle you can see we've got the new proximity sensors and again that's there's a sensor on every veal, every door some manufacturers only put it on the driver door so again you just walk up to the vehicle touch this once it unlock the door that you touch and GM gives you it on all four doors and if you double tap it it unlocks all five doors again because this is a hatchback very easy you want to bring these seats back up just catch old there's a handle here as well, and you can adjust the lean and tilt on this seat as well. So for example, you can see, zoom in, focus, there you go. And you can see gorgeous perforated seats, nice leather stitching, very premium, very large con center console and armrest. Let's pop inside. Like the Premier, the RS will have your heated back seats here with a button on the door. You can see down here, you've got some heat vents. You've got a power adapter, USB, USB-C for fast charging as well. And again, you know, I'm a big guy, six foot, 250 pounds. And you can see I got lots of leg room. My feet go right up under the seat. You can see the huge panoramic sunroof as well. Very, very nice. And let's just do an overview on the inside. Driver's seat. Let's go on up there right now. Now, because this is a V6 all-wheel drive, any of the models that's a V6 all-wheel drive will tow 4,500 pounds. So that'll carry a lot of light trailers, a lot of boats, handle those things for you. Moving over here, you can see that 
black ice paint that's on the outside is also on the inside door. You can see you've got nice, you can see my thumb here, nice soft touch materials as well. Same thing here on the door, nice soft touch materials. Love the red stitching. You can see power memory seats on this. We've got the rear hatch here as well. Oh, it's not focusing, sorry. So you can set your hatch to open up to the all the way. So again, that would be just above the body of the vehicle. And if you set it to three quarters, it would open up level with the vehicle. So maybe you have a low garage, townhouse garage, one of those things, really, really nice. You can see you've got the Bose premium audio system as well, and it pounds. You can see inside here, that's your power driver seat with your power lumbar support, up, down, left, right, tilt, all that stuff. And again, really gorgeous interior, all the red stitching. Again, perforated, heated and cooled front driver and passenger seats. And the interior on this thing is beautiful. Again, looking at the dash, the red stitching, the accents all the way across. And again, you can see my finger here. This is a nice soft touch material. I love the new vents. So again, it's got this really gorgeous red on it. And again, you can just twist, open, close, adjust those around, left, right, really sharp. Continuing with that little bit of chrome from outside. And again, with that same black ice going around the dash here and also around the gauge cluster. Again, if you were looking at the Premier or the normal, the first V6 entry model, you'd be looking at this as being chrome. Uh, moving on down, you can see you've got your push button start up high here. You can see right here, you've got, like the Camaros, you can, here, let's turn this, you can adjust your temperature this way by just turning the dial and the same thing on the passenger side, or if you want to use your infotainment system, you can as well. You just scroll across, touch climate, and you can adjust your climate that way. But again, love these dials, really, really sharp. Looking down here, you can see we've got the heated and cooled seat. And again, you've got three levels of cool and three levels of heat. So you can adjust that how you like it. And again, sync, auto, or just turn the system off. Okay, manually do your fan, whatever. Really, really sharp. You can see you've got your charging mat for your modern phones. You can see that nice RS badge right there and the red stitching again. Again, this is all that same black ice paint like on the outside on the center uh, console area. It's really, really sharp. And you can see right here. So one of the big things with the old Blazer was its four-wheel drive capabilities. And again, we've continued that with the new Blazer. So if you want the best possible fuel economy, you're going to be in too high. Okay, just front-wheel drive and it will roast the tires. Or you can go into 4x4 all-wheel drive. You can go into your performance all-wheel drive. Changes the shift points and whatnot on your transmission. Um, changes your, uh, the dampening on your steering. So it feels really, really uh, performance-oriented. And this would be if you're in really bad terrain, mountain mode, uh, snow mode, uh, that sort of thing. And then if you are trailering, if you see this icon in any of our new GM vehicles, you'll see this. This means that it is equipped with the optional trailer package. Like I said, on the Blazer, the RS and the Premier comes with the trailer package on it. So again, 4,500 pounds right out of the box, which is fantastic. We've got the sonar assist, so we can have that on or right now off. You've got your lane keep assist, and that's also your lane departure warning. So the lane keep assist will actually steer you back into your lane because it uses the front camera systems and it measures the reflective paint on the shoulder and the center line of the road to make sure that you are uh, within your lane and it'll help nudge you back over, give you an audible and visual warning. You can see down here as well, we've got your heated steering wheel. We also have your um, forward collision and you can set your gap distance for your forward collision alert and also your uh, automatic cruise control set up that as well so you're not too close. Um, really, really sharp looking vehicle. Um, moving over here even to the glove box. As an example, there's a button right here and touch this and that open up your glove box. Love that. Large center console here as well. Take a look inside. You've got more connectivity, another USB-C, another USB SD card slot for your navigation, and an old style power adapter as well. And you know what? Another cool technology, I really like this, so you're probably going to see my, my head in this one. So here you have uh, almost a bezel-less uh, rear view mirror, I love that. 
but they have a new technology. So if you flick this button, now it's a panoramic camera. Okay, let's try to focus that a little bit better. I apologize. And so great little option, gives you more visibility uh, left and right so that if there's something in your blind spot um, or right off your bumper. And the same thing here, if you touch this button, you can adjust the brightness, hit it again, you can ad adjust the zoom. So if we wanna zoom in a little more, and that can be on all the time as you're driving, which is fantastic. Again, gives you a little bit better visibility. Or if you don't want it on, you find it distracting, you just go back to your normal rear view mirror. That still looks super sharp because it's, again, almost bezel-less. Uh, moving down to your infotainment system. Everybody loves the infotainment system in the GM vehicles. Eight and a half inch screen, um, high definition display, beautiful theme and colors. And uh, it's very quick, it's very intuitive. And that's what people love about it. You can follow me here. Go to XM Radio, you got a home button here or a physical home button here. Uh, go to navigation, you've got navigation, hit home, scroll, to, scroll across, touch climate control, home, go to camera. You can see you've got that surround vision bird's eye view and you can see it's a high definition display and high definition camera. And again, you can touch these buttons. Now that's your back camera, that's your front camera. So really, really neat stuff. Again, hit the home button, go back and you've got this new split screen. So again, you can have uh, your radio station or whatnot up here. You've got your maps on the other side. Go back home. Um, in the past, they used to say uh, projection. Um, in the, the system has been in multiple of our vehicles. And it used to say projection. Now they say Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So again, if you have a modern phone and it's plugged in via USB, uh, you can access your iPhone and use the familiarity of your iPhone or your Android phone instead of the GM infotainment system. But as you can see, it's very slick, it's very quick. And uh, another thing to talk about is you also have apps you can download. So whether it's, um, say, the Weather uh, Channel app, if you want to download for real-time updated radar. Um, you've got other apps, um, maps and ways and things like that. It's really, really neat. And of course, you've got 4G LTE Wi-Fi in the vehicle. Your outside temperature is here. You've got your time right here. You can have multiple phones paired. You can have multiple iPads connected via the um, Wi-Fi in the vehicle as you're driving. And if you're camping, you can use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. But there you go. That's a lot of talking. It's a one-take shoot like always here at Western GM and Drumheller. Love the panoramic sunroof. And let's just for fun, let's just go for a little drive around the lot here. Not sure if you can hear that. Sounds really nice. And another technology this vehicle has, of course, it's got your forward automatic uh, braking, it's got auto collision braking, it's got pedestrian warning. Uh, pedestrian braking, all kinds of advanced technologies that are, if you're getting the entry level four cylinder front wheel drive, you won't have that stuff. But if you go to the mid or high trim levels, it'll be either standard or an option you can add. And for Canada here, what's really nice, we sell a lot of Equinox, we sell a lot of GMC terrains, and um, you can now get this new Blazer in a four cylinder front wheel drive. So again, lots of cars in Canada, and now you've got the ground clearance of an SUV. You've got the gorgeous styling of the all new Blazer. And that vehicle is right around $37,000 without any discounts or GM programs that, are, that might be out on it. So again, now you're getting into a bigger, more roomy vehicle, um, or you can go into the higher trim levels, which have that 3.6 liter V6 like this model does. But there you go, folks. Thank you so much for your time today. Hope you had a Enjoyed this as much as I did. Man, this is a beautiful vehicle. I'm going to go for a drive right now. Cheers.